There are many things that make our nation unique, and American art is one of them. Art is a reflection of the time and place it is created. The Butler Institute of American Art in Youngstown, Ohio, was the first building specifically built to house an American art collection. The museum was founded over a century ago in 1919 by Joseph G. Butler, Jr. and is nationally acclaimed, where our sole focus is the art of America. The Butler has one of the premier collections of American art in the nation, including 22,000 artworks. To walk through the Butler galleries is to walk through the history of America. Join me as we explore our treasures, four centuries of American art. Contemporary abstraction takes many forms. While we must credit the minimalist movement as the biggest influence upon contemporary abstraction, with its simplicity and minimal amount of activity, the abstraction of today is varied and dynamic. The abstract sculpture of Richard Serra, with its reference to conceptual art, is a dominant force. We must also look to the German neo-expressionist to best understand the power of abstraction today. Anselm Kiefer's reference to aspects of German history are particularly compelling. The butler's Raphael Ferreira painting, which references his early years in Puerto Rico, is both dynamic and highly inventive. We look at three artists whose influences carries us into the 21st century. Raphael Ferreira's skillful use of light and shadow in his painting, El Sol a Sombra, is a brilliant work depicting a lush landscape surrounding the architectural placement of these simple dwellings. The vibrant blues, yellows, and pinks dominate the scene. The relationship between the large structure and the location of the flaking houses creates an unsettling perception of space. The warm colors of yellow and pink throughout the painting carry our eyes to the bright sun overhead as it permeates heat. Yet the composition is filled with shadows, light and dark, abstract forms created by the shadows, flat planes covering the foreground. The translation of this title, El Sol El Sombra, is the sun with shade or shadow, which definitely captures the essence of Ferrer's tropical world. In other styles of contemporary art, we see bisected red violet, an acrylic painting created by Richard Anaskiewicz. Art critics' reaction to his artworks range from it dazzles and perplexes the eye to his paintings are so intense it makes one wince. Nonetheless, this painting contains a pattern of fine horizontal lines of varying but regularly patterned lengths that run from the top to the bottom of the canvas like lines of a thermometer, but in this case measuring the temperature of the colors. Just as Ferrara's painting, Anishkiewicz's vibrant colors evoke emotions. The complexity of the painting is not only about the optical effects of complementary colors placed in close proximity to each other with red and green. It is also a painting about the illusion of movement of colors on a stable flat surface. As you squint your eyes to look at this painting, what is your reaction? Is the effect a dizzying feeling as though your eyes have gone out of focus? Helen Frankenthaler was a trailblazer, the abstract painter whose technique of staining pigment into raw, unprimed canvas 
helped shape an influential art movement in the mid 20th century as she became one of the most admired artists of her generation. As we look more closely at the painting titled Viewpoint Number Two, there's an indication or suggestion of a landscape, a beach and sky represented through a horizontal division of the plain filled with warm grays moving to darker hues in the atmosphere. Do you see the strokes of red slightly placed along the horizon? Do you get a sense of depth in this two-dimensional composition? 21st century abstraction involves a mental process of synthesizing an idea and transforming the abstract into the visual realm of the concrete.